The United Nations International Drug Control Program, UNDCP, and the Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice Division in the United Nations Office at Vienna were merged to form the Office for Drug Control and Crime Prevention. This was renamed United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNDCP, in 2002. UNDCP was established to assist the UN in better addressing a coordinated, comprehensive response to the interrelated issues of illicit trafficking in and abuse of drugs, crime prevention and criminal justice, international terrorism, and political corruption. These goals are pursued through three primary functions, research, guidance and support to governments in the adoption and implementation of various crime, drug, terrorism, and corruption-related conventions, treaties and protocols, as well as technical and financial assistance to said governments to face their respective situations and challenges in these fields. The office aims long-term to better equip governments to handle drug, crime, terrorism, and corruption-related issues, to maximize knowledge on these issues among governmental institutions and agencies, and also to maximize awareness of said matters in public opinion, globally, nationally and at community level. Approximately 90% of the office's funding comes from voluntary contributions, mainly from governments. These are the main themes that UNDCP deals with, alternative development, anti-corruption, criminal justice, prison reform and crime prevention, drug prevention, treatment and care, HIV and AIDS, human trafficking and migrant smuggling, money laundering, organized crime, piracy, terrorism prevention. United Nations conventions and their related protocols underpin all the operational work of UNDCP. UNDCP launches campaigns to raise awareness of drugs and crime problems. On June 26 every year, UNDCP marks the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking. On December 9 every year, UNDCP commemorates the International Anti-Corruption Day. In 2007, the five largest donors to UNDCP's budget in descending order were European Union, Canada, United States, the UN itself, and Finland. According to the Transnational Institute this explains why, until recently, UNOT did not promote harm reduction policies like needle exchange and heroin-assisted treatment. This despite the actions of United Nations bodies, that is WHO and UN aides, who support these policies. UNDCP promotes other methods for drug use prevention, treatment and care that UNDCP sees as based on scientific evidence and on ethical standards. The UNDCP has been criticized by human rights organizations such as Amnesty International for not promoting the inclusion of adherence to international human rights standards within its project in Iran, where there are serious concerns regarding unfair trials and executions of those suspected of drug offenses. Thank you.